Los Angeles, sunshine capital of the United States. My name's Jackson Abbott. I'm a private investigator, and this is my story. I'd like to think she walked through my door because I was the best gumshoe in LA. But the fact of the matter is, with a name like Abbott, I'm always first in the phone book. Are you Mr. Abbott? Jackson Abbott at your service. My friends call me Jack. Should I call you Jack? I hope so. And what can I call you? My name is Helen Talmadge. I need your help. It's my father. He's a very rich and powerful man, and I'm afraid he doesn't approve of my fiancé, Daniel. She was engaged. That figured. He's threatened to hurt Daniel if we don't call off the wedding, and I'm afraid he's serious. My father can be a very violent man. So you think these threats are real? Well, why don't you and your fiancé go to the police? Because so far, it's only been words between them. But today, I found this in Daniel's coat pocket. Please, put this back in your purse. I don't carry one anymore. Not allowed to, actually. And I'd just as soon not get in any trouble for having one in my office. I'm sorry, it's, it's just... I'm, I'm really worried that my father's gonna do something horrible to Daniel. I'm sure he only has this to protect himself. Isn't there something you can do to help ease my mind? She looked at me with those baby blues, and I had no choice but to help her. Yeah, I think I can do something for you. Now, tell me all about your father. Her father was Lionel Talmadge. He built the Casbah Casino in Las Vegas, and since Bugsy Siegel took that bullet to the head, he'd been doing pretty well. I know he cashed a few of my paychecks. So the next day, I found myself on the road to Sin City. With men that powerful, you need to have an ace up your sleeve. So I called Gloria. She owed me a favor, and as luck would have it, she was working as a waitress in Talmadge's casino. And she also made a little money on the side sometimes. Yeah, she was a hooker. But she had a heart of gold, and I had a camera. Gloria let me in the service door, and we made our way up to Talmadge's private floor. Here, doll. This is for your time tonight. Jack, you don't have to do that, paying me and all. After everything you've done for me and Robbie. No. You take it. And make sure to buy the kids something nice with it. Okay. Now, what should I do? Go into Talmadge's room, sweet-talk him, and let nature take its course. Just leave the door open a crack, and I'll do the rest. These pictures will be my bargaining chip. Jack? Yeah? You know I'd do anything for you, right? Sure. What's wrong, kid? When I left for Vegas and you decided to stay in L.A., why, Jack? What did we let come between us? The desert, baby. The desert. That came from Talmadge's suite. Change of plans, kid. You get the hell out of here. And you? I have to check it out. Jack! Go! He's dead. You killed him, but I thought that... I don't need you to think. I need you to carry the body down to your car. Or what? You'll murder me too? I recall you saying you don't carry a gun. So, unless you plan to shoot me with that camera, I think you better do as I say. Now pick him up. Okay, okay. She'd planned this whole thing out. She had me put her father's body in the trunk, and then she handed me a shovel. Apparently, we were going out to bury the poor bastard. So, where are we taking him? Just past Zizek's Mineral Springs. Zizek's? 
That's the middle of the Mojave. Just shut up and drive. I'd heard of the Zizek's Hot Springs. The preacher who founded the place supposedly named it for the last word in the English language. I didn't know much about that, but I did know that it was way out in the ass of nowhere. And this time of year, there wouldn't be a soul out there. This is good enough. Pull over. Now get out. What happens now? You open the trunk, get the shovel, dig a hole, and bury my father. Sounds like a plan. Is that good enough for you? It'll do. Now put the body in. That whole story about your fiancé. A fabrication. I couldn't touch my trust fund until after my father was dead. I had to kill him. But I needed someone to take the fall. You know you'll never get away with this. <laughs> but I already have. This gun has your prints on it, not mine. And when they find you dead with a gun in your hand, they'll think you killed yourself. Now, Jack, get the body. That's Abbott. Thanks. Anytime. Jack. Gloria had followed us all the way from Las Vegas. Like I said, heart of gold. Of course, this was one trip I was never going to get paid for. But I suppose things could have ended up a lot worse. So that's all I've got to tell. It's not much. But that's my story. From A to Z.